Hey there. Again, I don't have a hat on or a cap. But guess what? We need to put on our thinking caps because we're going to do a lot of counting today. So get your things, put on your thinking cap, and let's get started. value columns and doing some comparing, but I want to start with a little warm-up. Let's just start by counting by tens, you and I together. You count with me. Ten, this, you've got this down, right? Like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, this time let's move into the hundreds, but still count by tens. What if I start at 110? What would come next if I'm counting by tens? 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Whoa, look at you go. Let's make it more challenging. How about I start you at 210? 220, 230, 240, what would come next? That's right, 250. All right, you did so well with that. How about we count by 100s now, but let's start at 1,000. What's 100 more? 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. What would come next? You got it, 1,400. Okay, let's make it a little trickier. Let's start in the 3,000s. Let's count by 100. 3,100, 3,200, 3,300, what comes next? 3,400, 3,500, and so on. You got it, good job. So that's a way that we can practice establishing a good understanding of those value columns in our mind to start in different places and make it a little tricky like that. Another thing we can do is take a look at large numbers and think about how we determine which number is greatest. Let's read these numbers aloud. 6,342, 6,442, 6,552. How do we know which one of these numbers is greater than the others? Well, in this case, they all are in the thousands and the digit is six and it's the same. So let's go to our hundreds and see if that helps us out. I'll underline the hundreds in this number. I'll underline the hundreds in this number and I'll underline the hundreds in this number. <laughs> Does it help us out to look at those? Now, which one is the greatest? Did you say that this one is the greatest number of all? Because 500 is greater than 400 and greater than 300. So then, which one of these numbers is the smallest? That's right, 6,342, because the 300 is smaller than 400 or 500. Let's take a look at this whole thing one other way. I'm going to remove our little desktop here and ta-da! <laughs> Look what we have underneath. Straighten those out for us. Alrighty, you know I love place value discs. We can read the numbers again. 6,342, 6,442, and finally 6,552. Now when we look at with place value disks, it's so obvious which number is the greatest number because we can look and see the value column of the hundreds has the most on this bottom one. And in fact, it also has more in the hundreds column, while in the ones column, the numbers are the same. 
So you're going to continue to look at numbers like that today and compare. I've got another little list for you, but this time we won't build it. We'll just be looking at the digits. Alrighty, let's take a look at these numbers and read them aloud. 6,342, 7,342, or 8,342. Which one of those numbers do you think our alligator would want to take a bite out of? This time, let's take a look at our columns starting on the left. Remember the last time, all of our numbers started with 6,000. But let's see if that's true this time. It's 6,000, oh, 7,000, oh, and 8,000. So it's, again, we're taking a look at the value column that has the highest number. And because we um, can narrow it down with the thousands, we really don't even need to look at the other columns. But in this case, it's especially good because our numbers in the hundreds are the same, 342. So we really pay attention to the number in the thousands. Let's do one more. Alrighty, let's take a look at these numbers and figure out which one is greatest. 6,342, 6,343, or 6,344. Which is the greatest and how can we prove it? Well, if we look in the thousands column, the numbers are the same. If we look in the hundreds column, the numbers are the same. Okay, so let's look in the tens column. Still the same. We have to drop down to the ones column for this one to determine which number is the greater number. Can you see now which one is the greater number? 6,344 is greater than 6,343 and 6,342. Wow, you're getting pretty good at this. Okay, let's see what's coming next. Alrighty, I've, I've built a number for us. Let's label the number as we go. Let's look in our thousands column. We have 3,000. 700, 70, seven. Oh my goodness. All right, well, you know me. I don't ever like to just keep the number the way it is. Let's make it interesting and keep going. So if I do 3,777 plus one, you can see what I'm gonna be doing here. We're gonna make this an eight but we're not gonna stick with that. <laughs> now we have to make it a nine. What do you think Mrs. Dillon is going to do next? If I put one more one, they cannot live there all together, but it's so much fun because we get to trade them. Four, another 10. Now look at that. We have to make a change here. Now, have I written my number correctly? Or would you like to make a correction? That's right, I have to show that I have zero ones, but not for long. 3,781. I am continuing to add by one now. In a moment, I would like you to pause the video and I want you to continue adding one till you get to 3,790. Okay, pause it and build up to that number. Did you get the same thing that I got? I had to keep adding ones until I got one more 10. And now, how many tens do I have? I have nine tens, but how many ones do we have? Zero ones, 3,790. Woo, you did a good job at that. Should we try another one? All right, let's go. Alrighty, a moment ago, we stopped at this number, 3,781, and then we continued adding ones. This time, 
I'm going to ask us to add tens. Can you picture what's going to happen now? We're working in a different value column. So I had eight tens there. Now I have nine tens. 3,791. <laughs> we won't stop there. We are going to add another 10. Tell your teacher what we need to do. We're renaming those 10 tens as 100. What do I need to write here? All right, now we have 3,701. Let's keep counting by tens. Hmm, we've got one 10 in there now, 3,711. Here we go. And 3,721. Now I want you to keep going, adding tens and changing until you get to 4,222. So you'll pause the video and meet me back here. Welcome back. All right. Did you build to 4,222? Guess what? We really had to add a one to get to that. Also, we were working in our tens column, but we did have to add an extra one to get to that as well. So that's an activity that you can do all throughout the day is build to a certain point. You could do it with um, hundreds, adding in hundreds like we did at the beginning when we were counting out loud or the tens or the ones, so you can go that way. Now, I've got another little activity for us called What's My Rule? So that, <laughs> did you see that thousand go flying off my desk? Yeah. If I have the number 4,892, and I change that number to 4,902, what did I do to the number? 4,902. Did you say that I added a 10? That's correct. So my rule in this case was to add 10. Now, let's try it again. How about if I say 4,992, and for help, I'll give you the next one. What did I do that time? Did you say that I added 100? And again, I added 100? That's correct. That's my rule, to add 100. All righty, this one you're gonna get, lickety split. Oh, I'm gonna make it trickier for you. Let's see, what am I adding now? I'm gonna do another one for you. What did I add, do you know? 4,892? 4,894, 4,896. I'm working in the ones column, but I didn't add one, did I? To each one, I added two. And there we go. So you can see you can take that lots of different ways. All righty. Today, you are going to be so cooperative, I know, because I know you and you have the greatest heart. Enjoy your math and I can't wait to see you back here next time.